Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is the Rastafari International Ambassador, Chaboni, better known as the Badass, the man from Boswak, Bakawal. And today, program, we are, we will be de defining what is a Rastaman. And I'm going to ask no other than my good brethren, Rastaman, to come and do that. Greetings and salutations, my good brother, Badass. Jaboni, International Rastafari Ambassador. I will give you an I title right now. Refer to Ayman as Rastaman. The name that I give the eye at this time is a name that I prefer to use at this time, in this time. One of the things I would love for you to receive, as well as the listening audience, and at this time I would like to just say, it is not my intention to belittle anyone disrespect anyone. That is not my intention. I'm speaking as a Rasta man. I'm not speaking as a Jamaican. I'm not speaking as an African. I'm speaking more, if I'm to say, other than Rasta man, I'm speaking as a black man. Black, yeah, black man. I is Rasta man. You can call me Ras, Rasta man. The other titles that who I am, because I am who I am, not that I am, because that I am is evident. But the question is who am I? And I am Rasta man. So my apologies in advance if anyone is offended by anything that I might say. And I say this because I normally do not speak on any platforms out there. But I love the format in which my brethren, Jabboni, presents himself as a true ambassador, as a true diplomat. In the case of Rastafari. So what I will speak of is my experience, my living, sentient flesh and blood experience of Rastaman. See, there's too much confusion going on in the minds of the peoples, in the minds of the world, pertaining to and in reference to Rastaman. Remember, say Rastaman is not Rastafari. Rastaman is Rastaman. Now, we must see Rastaman as a consciousness. Just like how you will see Christ as a consciousness. It is a divine consciousness of self. You must also see Rastaman as a consciousness as you will see Krishna. They call it Krishna consciousness. So the newest consciousness in this Iowa would be called Rasta consciousness. Now this is linked and connected to a genre of music known to the world as reggae. Reggae, not reggae, 
reggae. Gay. That is the Rastaman music. So I don't care who want to hold on to it and go on like say, feed them music. They're free to do this. There's nothing wrong with it. But where it becomes wrong is when they begin to act as if Rastaman have nothing to do with reggae music. And this is the re-engineering efforts that they are joining. Just like they're trying to re-engineer Rastaman definition and definition of Rastaman with this last thing they had at the University of the West Indies, the Mona campus. I was there, not at this time, but I was there this year. And I was sent there by one of the highest people in the world to speak to a man. I just want to call him man because I never act in him proper character as the title of him bear. And if he didn't have nothing to do with it, his office then did not operate as the office should. I was sent there by a very important black man to speak with this man or at least to make the connection between that man and, and the man with I that sent I there. And I was dealt with in a very disrespectful manner. Anyhow, I don't want to stray off of my main intention of speaking. So when I listen to what ensued in the past few days and say week about this uh this, uh, what do you call it? Well, the last like, Rasta thing with them out there. When them are deal with the gayism and, and so forth. And the, the ambassador, the Rastafari ambassador, international ambassador, speak up and speak out about it, which I'm very proud of him. I'm very proud of him. I cannot speak, words cannot express the level of respect and honor that I have for that man. So therefore, Jabuni, let me continue. Because I think it is important and critical for everyone out there to know, say, Rasta the same way. I move same way, but the radical things in terms of the foundation that even the eye Jabuni have set have evolved now to a different level. And I am so honored and so pleased in your last three to four to five broadcasts. And I will say <laughs> that our righteous ancestors and our creators are well pleased in your stance. Now, Many people have gotten the history of Rastafari, of Rastaman, I should say, from Jaboni. And it is very exact because he has lived it himself. And he not just lived it as a Rastaman, but he's from the root and the loin of one of the forerunners, his father. Now, this is the evolution of Rastafari, of Rastaman. Remember, the revolution has been redefined. Rastaman revolution is an evolutionary revolution. So the reggae music opened the door so the world can know Rastaman and take on Rasta consciousness. So whether you're black or white, you know, you can take on Rasta consciousness, you know, whether you're a Chinese man or Indian man, no matter which kind of man he is, you know, you can become Rasta conscious. But the thing is, nobody mix up with the black Rasta consciousness. Because that's not the same. 
The duty of any other ethnicity of Rasta consciousness is to go to their ethnic group and bring them up to speed to their conduct, to the consciousness of Rasta so that they can move accordingly because the evolution is here. And whether we like it or not, whether we accept it or reject it, makes no difference. Because it's not a matter of right or wrong no more. It's a matter of choosing. Whatever you choose is right. If you choose wrong, you're right. And if you choose right, you're right. So I and I will choose right, no come to fight against wrong, you know. And if you notice, the man will live the right life, no fight against the man will live the right, wrong life, you know. It's always the man will live the wrong life, I come fight against the man will live the right life. So we are dealing with liberation. We are dealing with redemption. We now deal with salvation. Salvation is given at the conception of I and I, of I self, by the divine mother and father, which is creation. I and I, God and goddess. Created I before I earthly mother flesh, father and father flesh, mother flesh and father flesh decide to exercise love and devote it to one another to bring I in the flesh. I and I now deal with mortality. I and I deal with immortality. Rasta man, I deal with immortality. So when I'm sitting and I try to deal with administrative things, I'm here the brother I talk today. Upon the thing. I don't even know him name. I don't even know him name. The one where probably is the brother. Well, probability. I feel it is the said brother where organize the thing at the campus. Me him use a word several times over and over and over and over and over. And the word he uses is persons. And this are persons. And that the persons. We must know that this battlefield that we're on right now, the first casualty of war will be words. Words will be slaughtered, blown to smithereen, totally and utterly destroyed. Certain words will be done. We'll speak these words no more. So when we use the word persons, I'm like, wait a minute, why the man I use the word person so much? Because when you say, Judge already say, you know, Haina is no respect of persons. A person is a corporate fiction. A person is not a living entity. So this man is, 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 is speaking things which him do not understand. Who I is now that give I the authority to speak with such power? Like I said, it's Rastaman. So what is a Rastaman? Let a man define it for the item now. See, because Badass come in in 54, I come in in 55. I come in in 55, not Greenwich Town. But I come from country still. Hillside, top, Manchester. So, what is a Rasta man? To know what is a Rasta man, no book can show it to you. And you can't go into no mansion for go learn it. One time I call a man, you know, I'm going to call him name too. So that you can know me, the one, the man if you know, so him shock me one day. Because I don't usually call no platform and talk to nobody upon a live thing or anything at any time. Because I'm upon a mission. And the mission is obedient to the statement. The revolution will not be televised because it's an evolutionary movement. I call us a, a brother named I just star one time. And when I call him, I just call him to give a comment on something. I didn't call to insult nobody or to destroy nobody feeling or nobody. Whatever that was, I don't know what it was, but when I Say what I say. The man them start tell me after that. And I said to myself, wait a minute. The man asked me one question. And I speak in the manner in which I speak. Him say to I, 
what mansion I man come from. And I said, but what do you mean by that? I don't know who was that. What is this mansion thing? He said, you don't know what it is. I said, you don't know what, it, what mansion I hear. You ever heard of 12 tribe? I'm, yes, I'm a hear of these people. I know of these people, 12 tribe and the Naya Bingi and the Bubba Shanti and the Orthodox and the, these things. I know of these people and these organizations and these groups. But I don't, as a Rasta man now, I don't know some of you belong to one of them places there. For me, if you talk and for me to express myself as Rasta. So that kind of threw me for a little twist there because I try to over why this man is, is a Rasta man, but he might ask me them kind of question there. And I ask me the things where I talk, where I get it from, and who write this your book, and can I show him certain things? And anyhow, that was put to rest. And I politely exited the call. And I continued to listen to the program. But as I continued to do, listen to the program, I became more disheartened because there were others that were calling in. No one kind of, they were going to him and see him here. Even after I humble myself and step off of this platform and, and continue to listen. So I'm have a call back here now and make an official apology to all of his listeners. I said to all of the listeners and the commenters, I said my sincerest apology. Because if anyone is offended, that was not my atten- intention and so on and so forth. So, at some point that conversation ended and I said to myself, I would never really do that again because I see that there are certain misconceptions and misconceptions of what Rasta is. And when a Rasta man call, them don't know how to really deal with that. But when I listen to Jaboni, the badass, Rasta International Ambassador, I endorse that and I, I, put, I, I put my life on that blood fire. Because I know a Rasta. So me tell you how oh, I know a Rasta now. Me not grow in a Jamaica. Me just born there. Me not me grow in America. But me not born there. Me live in England. But me not born there and me not grow there. So this is the Rasta man who not talk to now. I would refer to myself as Jaboni say he's a Rasta baby. I think him says second generation. One generation is when your children come up and them get to the age where they begin to have children. That's the first generation. The first generation is the one who have the children. And then the second generation is the one them the children grow up and begin to have their children. That's the second generation. And if I'm not mistaken, Jaboni say, in second generation. Well, no, I is a generation. I would refer to Carl say, since I born in a 55, I would be of the said generation, but the tradition different. Or me come up different from what Jaboni come up. Cause my mother carried me in her womb for nine months in a migrating type of fashion between England, between America, between Jamaica. She a migrate. But she carried me in her, in her womb. So I was carried in the womb throughout the, the, the migration, back and forth and thing. And my big sister there, Jamaica. So my mother now, I forgot to look about my big sister, Jamaica. And when she learned, I forgot to look about my big sister, water broke. And I'm on come in. So when I'm on come in now, the migration still are going, you know, come my mother and father, very industrious, you know, and they're moving. They might, they might want better for them youth and better, like, like Jaboni and say, boy, most of we want better for your children. I mean, when my, when my mother and father tell me, say, 
we leave them leave Jamaica and carry go to England and carry go to America because they want we for learn, for read and write and have a better life. Me take that literally so me make sure so me know for read and me know for write. <laughs> it may not become a lawyer, a doctor, a surgeon, or a mathematician or nothing. It's all right, but me know for read and write. And so, when I, and I come now, because we're in England, you know, in a Birmingham, Hansworth, and then place there. Brixton, and then place there in a Birmingham area, Bullring Market. Mother and father, you should teach I and I off to do certain things in the yard while them gone to the British industry for working at them factory. And as I and I did it, I don't know nothing about Rasta, you know. Remember, no, I don't know nothing about Rasta, because my father is not Rasta. I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian in the church of God, my father is the Adventist. <clears throat> but I'm showing higher principles and precepts. My father was a Jamaican boxer. And my mother was just an industrialist, she just loved it. She very, she's a business-like woman, you know, she do enough business and who have shop and sell and all kind of something. So she show we certain things in the yard. So when them gone to work, now we had to do certain things when them show we a yard to do and produce certain product. So when them come off now on the weekends and whatever, them carry go a bowl ring market, go sell the things that we make at the yard as children and the things where she buy as wholesale and whatever, go sell back to the public. And I saw we did their work and I do things and I'm going to go to school and you know, the football thing, you know, the, 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 what them call soccer over here, and get really good at it to the point where a man turned semi-pro at like 11, 12 years old. And at the time that thing they up now, the shift again, the migration again, we migrate now from America, from England, Birmingham, into New York, America. So may I assure you how Rasta is, so anybody come tell about Rasta, about Bobo, and 12 Tribe, and all them something there. When I say them things, they nobody know. Them things is good. It's a, a Rasta same way, Rasta business same way. But it's not Rasta man that. It's not Rasta man. See, that's what the, people have to understand. You know, say. There's a difference between Rasta and Rasta man and Rasta woman, Rasta family, Rasta sons and Rasta daughters. Can you never hear a Rasta man, a real Rasta man, call him children kids? And you'll never hear a real Rasta man refer to himself and him woman and nobody within a Rasta movement. R real Rasta movement is authentic, pure Rasta movement. We call himself um, parents, a mother and father, a youth, a sons and daughters, a children, and not kids, and not parents. The parents can't do anything. Some of the parents abuse them, picnic them, and engage in all kind of thing that is abominable. But a father would never violate a son or a daughter. A mother would never violate a, a son or a daughter. So people don't, people look at words as if they don't mean nothing. But words are very powerful. So, once again, Rasta man is what I'm uh, is defining right now. So that you can't do make nobody fool, you know. Come talk about you know, go read one book written by Joe Blow or Susie Q. I talk about this is what Rasta is and Rasta that and Rasta this and Rasta that and Rasta this. No. In order to know how to be a Rasta man. You have to live the life of a Rasta man. You have to live the life. You have to walk in the path of righteousness. You have to walk in the way of truth. You have to walk in the way of love. And not love where the chat about out there. No. Love is a law. It is not an emotion. Love is not something I can give to a woman, a woman can give to I. Love is not something you give to your children, and your children can't give you no love. Love is the consciousness of self 
that says love is a law, an attitude, a way of life, a liberty, truth is vanguard, truth is the protector, and righteousness is the foundation of all things. And peace can only be established by righteousness, not by war and revolutions and blood and spilling and body bags. Rastaman vibration is consciousness, a divine consciousness of the divine consciousness of self. No one can teach you that. You must live it to know it. It is a real thing. Rastaman used the term black. And nobody's ever heard black law have no standing in law or you know, we say um, the black is an adjective, so the adjective does not uh, describe a person, a place, or a thing. Yeah, but when I use black for them thing there, we use black for say black. We say we are dealing with revolutionary change. We are dealing with radical change. Now, change should not be surprising to anyone because any scientist will tell you, I mean, true scientists now, will tell you that change is relative. Change is, the, is what life is made up of. That change is constant. Everything is constantly changing. One day I was five. This day I'm 68. So why are you having a problem with change? Change is relative. I bought a new shoes today. In six months, the shoes is old. It is changed. It's worn. My body used to be flexible and I could do certain things, flip and flop and all kind of cartwheel and all kind of something. Today, I have to be very careful of what, how I do what I do. I can still do the things I used to do when I was younger, but I have to be careful and be more mindful of how I do it. I have to put physics to work. So, you see, any man who have a problem with change, you know, is a man that is working in the gray area. He refuses to choose. In the Rastaman way, we know that they say to all of the, the people, to the many, they say, many are called, but few are chosen. Well, Rastaman say, many are called, but few will choose. They teach us again and program almost, because this is our re-engineering of the, of the mind and thinking and thought patterns and realities, you know. They re-engineer everything. That's why they give us many a call, but few are chosen. When them damn well know says many a call, but few will choose. Them give us another one. Them say, them say, um, all praises unto the Most High and my righteous ancestors. They say, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. <laughs> but I ask this question as a Rasta man. You ever see a dead tree where, where dead and drop down a earth, cast any shadow? I lay down upon the shadow. It and the shadow become one. You ever see a dead man cast a shadow? Come lay down in the earth, you know. And him cast no shadow. You ever hear a dead dog bark? You ever hear see a dead bird fly? Or a dead cat meow? So there is a trick bug, like my brethren said earlier to them, say, in, a, in America, you know, cause 1966, around them time, they me come in America, you know, from England, from Birmingham, come here in America. You ever see anything with dead cast a shadow? Nothing with dead cast a shadow, Rasta. So, the statement should read, Yea, though I walk 
to the valley of the shadow of the living, I shall fear no evil. It's only the living man pose a threat to I and I. The man them were living and have shadow and a walk earth, and them are the dopey. And them are the wicked. Adjective, so adjective does not uh, describe a person, a place, or a thing. Yeah, but when I use black for them thing, then we use black for say black. For say we are dealing with revolutionary change. We are dealing with radical change. Now, change should not be surprising to anyone because any scientist will tell you. I mean, true scientists now we we'll tell you that change is relative. Change is, a, is what life is made up of. That change is constant. Everything is constantly changing. One day I was five. This day I'm 68. So why are you having a problem with change? Change is relative. I bought a new shoes today. In six months, the shoes is old. It is changed. It's worn. My body used to be flexible and I could do certain things, flip and flop and all kind of cartwheel and all kind of something. Today, I have to be very careful of what, how I do what I do. I can still do the things I used to do when I was younger, but I have to be careful and be more mindful of how I do it. I have to put physics to work. So, you see... Any man who have a problem with change, you know, is a man that is working in the gray area. He refuses to choose. In the Rastaman way, we know that they say to all of the, the people, to the many, they say many are called, but few are chosen. Well, Rastaman say many are called, but few will choose. They teach us again and program almost because this is our re-engineering of the of the mind and thinking and thought patterns and realities, you know. They re-engineer everything. That's why they give us many a car, but few are chosen. When them damn well know says many a car, but few will choose. Them give us another one, them say, them say, um, all praises unto the most high and my righteous ancestors. They say, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. <laughs> but I ask this question as a Rasta man. You ever see a dead tree where, where dead and drop down a earth, cast any shadow? I lay down upon the shadow. It and the shadow become one. You ever see a dead man cast a shadow? Come lay down in the earth, you know. And him cast no shadow. You ever hear a dead dog bark? You ever hear see a dead bird fly? Or a dead cat meow? So there is a trick bug, like my brethren said earlier to them, say, in, a, in America, you know, got 1966, around them time, they me come in America, you know, from England, from Birmingham, come here in America. You ever see anything with dead cast a shadow? Nothing with dead cast a shadow, Rasta. So, the statement should read, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the living, I shall fear no evil. It's only the living man pose a threat to I and I. The man them were living and have shadow and a walk earth, and them are the dopey. And them are the wicked. And them are the devil. Because the God is I and I. I remember, you know, I and I is that which was, that which is, and that which is to come. So now they're trying to stop that which is to come, which is why they're attacking the children today and try to murder off the children and turn the boy them into girls and the girls into boys. I'll turn, let's, let's change that now, I'll correct myself on that. Change the man them into woman and the woman them into 
man change the females into males and the males into females. Car, the definition of a boy is a black slave or one of unknown origin. And the definition of a girl is male or female. So that's why I say, as a Rasta man, I let everybody know internationally, nationally, intergalactically, uh, uh, whichever, whichever way, universally and cosmically, that words must be slaughtered. We must slaughter words. We must murder these words. With some words oh, I use, we're not for yours. We for bury them, burn them, shatter them. I see the Rastaman music being bastardized. And I see where these people are coming and say, boy, if you don't have no lax, you're not Rasta. And if you don't smoke ganja, you're not Rasta. And if you don't say, Haile Selassie is your God and your King, you're not Rasta. When Haile Selassie himself come and tell everybody, say, I and I is none of this, I and I praise the true and living God. And at the same breath, him say, he is not, who is he to deny a man his faith? And still we want to ignore what the man say. We must overstand so when Ayala Selassie, the first emperor of Ethiopia, king of kings, lord of lords, conquering lion of Judah, enter into Jamaica, he was taken aback. He did not expect that type of greeting. He was overwhelmed by it. Tell him I have to send for Plano to come. Why Plano? Then, back then, ask yourself the question, why him? And if you can answer that question, you have to ask yourself this question now. Why Jaboni? I just want Jaboni I if you know say right now, all your all this all all your position. Because this is a new industrial revolution. The first, the second, the third, and the fourth will be based on profit and progress. And therefore many suffering went down. Many world wars that was undertaken and many people suffered. But this new industrial revolution, the fifth industrial revolution, which is now in its 23rd year, which is, in, in, our, in other words, in this millennium here, it's 23rd, is a young adult. There's many things I would not speak on these forums, you know, some because I'm on position, have to be protected. But as I, and I say, I name for the purpose of this platform at this time, is Ras Rastaman. That is who I am. Is. And I am in USA, the corporate fiction of America. I am in USA, and I did speak with Aya Congo. You might not remember, because I know really going at all the things with people, you know. If I call you and I talk into you, I expect certain vibration to flow. And those vibrations does not flow, I accept it because I know time will come when time will tell. All that is hidden shall be revealed because I am all that is hidden and I am all that is revealed. Because Rastaman is righteousness, the foundation of all things. Rastaman is peace established by righteousness. Rastaman is all that is hidden and, and Rastaman is all that will be revealed. Rastaman is peace established by righteousness. Rastaman is that which is and can never not be. Rastaman is that which is not and can never be. So I'm going to give thanks, you know, Jaboni, this is the first time really I'm leaving a voice message with the eye. And I will employ each and every one, every Rastaman that is true Rastaman, all the, all the corners Rasta. 
Because you just see I and I, and you know I and I. Reconnect to the earth, you know? No worry about our ancestors. is not these flesh and blood people that came before us. Let us let me make that clear right now. The Rasta man see ancestors in a different manner because we are dealing with the consciousness of Rasta. Who is Rastafari? Who is Ras Tafari? Well, Ras is a title. And Tafari is his name. So when you put the two together, you have Ras Tafari. And he is of the family Makonin. So there's only one Rastafari. And that's Rastafari Makonin. There is no other Rastafari. So we can go on all we want go on and say all we want say. Rastafari Makonin gave up that name. And I and I was instructed by the liberation of I and I people. By the by we 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 already put on Bible. We already put on these things. We never bond them and we put them down. We said, no, this is as far, this is a part of our oppression. We put them down and we became Bible. We are the living Bible. So when you see man like Jaboni come as vanguard and to protect and to watch over Rasta affairs. Well, you know, it take a different kind of Rasta man, you know. To do the works where him do and many like him that come with him do. So I say to the Ija money, man, love Rasta. Love one perfect, love I Trust me. When me tell you, say, you don't know half the things right now where I and I whole for the liberation and the redemption of I and I people. I working right now, all the time, constantly in communication with the Almighty Ja and I righteous ancestors. So the ancestors, let me let everyone know who the ancestors are now so that you can come off of this foolishness. We're not talking about African ancestors and Jamaican ancestors. Follow that. Lowest farm. Lowest farm of ancestry that. Your first ancestor is the blackness. That's why we name them black nation. That's why we call ourselves black people. Because we come from the most powerful ancestor, the darkness, the farmless, the shapeless. No farm and no sheep. That's our first ancestor. Inside of the darkness, everything did in the day. All of the trees and the birds and the bees and everything, the seas and the oceans and the valleys and the, the brooks and the, the springs, everything. The earth belongs to the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and day that dwell there. All of that come out of the darkness. So when you look on the earth as your ancestor, it's not the most powerful one. It's the darkness is the most powerful ancestor. The next powerful ancestor is the light. Any form of light, sunlight, matches light, ideal light. Candlelight, starlight, moonlight, any kind of light. As long as it name light, are your ancestor that. Then you have the rest of ancestors. The earth, the fullness thereof, the vegetation, the beasts. You see Tarzan, when Tarzan goes, oh, oh, oh. All the animal them come running to and do what one want, want them to do. Are we that? No. It's so some Rasta business that. Them just re-engineer it. And put a white band in the jungle. It's re-engineering that them doing. You know. Because them no want them. Them want to show the black people. Well, black people is a control animal. And, and, and when, when them come, when the colonialists and the imperialist company will set the animal upon them blood clot. Them don't want you to know them weaponry there. Or we used to have crystal towers and communicate telepathically. They don't want you to know these things. God, they don't want you to unite. That's what the purpose of unity is. To resuscitate and to ignite 
the harmonious unity in creation and to bring about the evolution of righteousness into its proper position. So these are just some of the ancestors and them create the church to take us away from our ancestors, to take our hands from, stop our hands from going into the earth, to stop our feet from walking barefoot upon the earth and create church and put shoes on our foot. But me remember as a youth man, me walk barefoot everywhere. When we go to school, I barefoot. When we go to church, I barefoot. Me used to remember we eat on earth. When food cook and everybody sit on and grung in the yard, on the dirt, grung, and eat food with we hand. That's the connection we had. So we have to reconnect to earth, reconnect to our ancestors, and remember, we do not stand up on the shoulders of those that came before us. We don't stand up on their shoulder. We walk in their footsteps. If we stand up on their shoulder, then when, when them footsteps stop, we done this up. If we walk beside them and walk behind them in their footsteps. So when them footsteps done, that means that them, them pass on to the great beyond. We now will continue the journey. Because remember, we are immortals. And what is death? Death does not exist. Death is just time evolving into itself. Time evolving into time. We are immortal beings and we live righteous lives. Many are called, but few will choose. No one is, is going to choose anybody. The mere fact that you have the courage to choose righteousness over unrighteousness makes you chosen. So who chose you? You chose yourself. You chose to choose. Now, between unrighteousness and righteousness is an area them call the gray area. That is the area that they manipulate and they wreak confusion. You see, they, they set trap for you in the gray area. Them capture you in the gray area. If you go in an unrighteousness, that means that you are already give yourself to, to capture, to be captured. You are already surrender to the to that. If you go into righteousness, that means say unrighteousness and anything out of the gray area has no dibs on you, and you are in your immortal position. That means that you can say open earth and swallow the wicked word itself. And the earth will open and swallow the wicked. You can say, come see ocean and sky. Meet one another. And swallow them people over the sky and wicked. And the earth and your ancestors, which are your ancestors. And the seas, which are your ancestors. Will hearken unto your voice. But an individual. That, that it doesn't happen with an individual. It has to be a collective. This is why... They don't want I and I to unite. You see, they don't want us to see us unite. All they want to see us doing is fussing and fighting. I want to Bob Marley tune that, you know. No, I self, they're on a level. I'm not going to reveal too much because men are in the soapbox business. I will not repeat what those before I did. Malcolm X went up on a soapbox and began to teach and speak to the people. Marcus, the same thing. Ma 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 Martin Luther King, the same thing. And the, the result was what we got. But history will tell you what they were done to these brothers. And these many of these sisters that rose up and stood up. Even the Naya Bingi. You see, and, I, and that's another thing I wanted to touch on before briefly before I leave here. Because there will be many more broadcasts that I will put forth to Jaboni. Um... Naya Bingi, order. We often know it's a female order that, you know. It's a female order that, you know. Naya Bingi is a woman. Nothing wrong with being a woman. Nothing wrong with being Naya Bingi. But study the history of that woman. She was one of the last, you know. I think she came out of Uganda. And she fought against colonialism and imperialism. But she was a woman. And she led many men into battle against the colonialists and the imperialists. But at some point, the man them know, 
kind of usurp her authority. So we have to overstand, you know, Rastaman is a man who correct things. So until Naya Bingi order correct themselves, I mean, I say, boy, you know, you have to this and that and nothing, but look at the history of who Naya Bingi is, what Naya Bingi stands for, who she, what, what did she defend as an empress, and who followed her, who did she lead? She led men and women into battle. So the most powerful aspect of Naya Bingi today, the Naya Bingi other, is the woman them. So the man them need to stand up now as man and put the order in order. Put the order in order. Yeah, but how I many of us is courageous enough to do that? Or uh, will we fall into our tendencies? Our tendency to be patriotic and to, 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 to worship deity rather than reality. To be real is to be real. There's no in between. To be real is to be real. Everything else is a facsimile of what is real. So the question becomes, what is then is real? The only thing that is real is the supreme, immortal, divine consciousness of self which resides in each and every living soul. Anything outside of that is a facsimile of reality. The divine consciousness of self is the only thing that is real. And even that has its evolutionary move. Because as I said, we are born a fetus. We are, we are, we are born an infant. Develop as a fetus and born as an infant. And we develop through many age grades. The divine consciousness of self. So on that note, I would say our praises unto the most high and our righteous ancestors. We must distinguish between our righteous ancestors and unrighteous ancestors. Because they are both there to serve us. If you want to do unrighteousness, you call upon your unrighteous ancestors and they will be there to serve you just as powerful as the righteous ancestors. If you want to do righteousness, then you call upon your righteous ancestors and they will come and they will serve you according to the righteousness and the degree of righteousness that you desire. So you see, no one is wrong and no one is right. If you're right, you're right. And if you're wrong, you're right. But what you must be ready to accept is the fruits of your right and the fruits of your arm. So as Rastaman, Ras Rastaman signing out, until our next Iowa, until such time, Jaboni, love my brother. Continue the, the, the righteous and the positive works that you're doing. And I just love your program and I love what you're doing. I'm, I'm, my eyes are on everyone. And I will share some things with you but at a different Iowa, not on the open space, saying, because we need it and we have it right here, the fullness of it all. And so, Brother Aya Congo, next time I and I contact the eye, we will talk on the next level. I think you will remember I, I spoke with you. You was in transition, you was in transit at the time. It was in the month of March of this year. I called the I called Jaboni gave her your number. Okay, so we will speak again. Because I don't like to talk on them earwaves. They're too tough, you understand what I say. Revolution will not be televised, Rastafari, I know. So we are close the door, as Jaboni said. Ambassador is correct. Close the door. Shut it. And we are also have to have a new faculty of thinking.
it must be new and it must be the real faculty, the faculty of Rastaman. Not the faculty of Rastafari, because Rastafari is Mahakunin. And when you get into Rastafari now, you become what you call, you know, as Buddha Bunny say, you start wear frock, and you start going a Bible, and you start going to church, and you start build tabernacle, but you now build nation. We are dealing with black nation building. And we use nation because black is radical change, revolutionary change, not no step by step. The, the, I always say the first start organization of African unity, then come and turn it into African union, which is a fraternity. Only friend and company are get served, but Africa and Africans at home and abroad now nah get no service. It has nothing to do with African unity. So, in the name of the Almighty, in the name of righteousness, in the name of truth, in the name of peace, in the name of wisdom and knowledge, in the name of justice, balance and reciprocity. And I say until, until such time, Jaboni, and I will see and reason again. Positive vibes.